Hello everyone, I'm Marco from Femto Engineering. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can set up a simple NX Open Python script for SimCenter 3D. As an example, I'll create a tool to assign random colors to mesh collectors. Here you can see a simple finite element plate model existing of multiple properties. Furthermore, a property or a mesh collector can contain multiple meshes as well. In my case, they're all colored green by default. At the developer tab, there is a record button. This allows to translate all your actions to a program script. I'll save the recorded journal in a separate folder, and once we hit OK, the recording starts. So let's start with editing the color of a mesh collector. We can go to Edit Display and then click the color. We see the color palette, and I choose orange for example. And every color in SimCenter has a corresponding color ID, in this case 78. As you can see, the individual meshes within the collector all turned orange as well. We hit stop recording and the actions are saved to the file journal.py. This is Spider, which I prefer to use for my Python programming, but the journal can be opened in any text editor. Everything is hard coded by the recording, as you can see. So we see, for example, the name of the mesh collector and the color orange appearing multiple times. The code can be rearranged a bit. A few few lines of code related to the mesh collector display settings and a few lines related to the mesh display settings. We also see all meshes I made orange are all separately programmed. For clarity, we'll delete everything related to mesh 2, 3 and mesh 4. Also the read display object, which is used to update the view such that the new color appears, is deleted for all meshes except mesh 1. So now there are five lines which edit the color of mesh one into orange and a few lines which edit the color properties of the mesh collector. Next, we can check for some redundant code, which is highlighted by this orange bumpy line. This means the expression is not used in the remaining of the code. The same holds for the two imports at the top, apparently. The last thing I'll delete from the recorded journal are the undo marks. This allows after the journal has been used to go back to your previous state, so to be able to use Ctrl Z. In general, I recommend to keep an undo mark, but in this demo I delete them all and everything related to it. Next, we can start adding stuff to our code. Something called a mesh manager is used to find the mesh collector, but I'd like to find all mesh collectors, so I can go to the NX Open reference guide to help me out. I type mesh manager and hit enter. Click Mesh Manager in the results and the guide basically shows everything related to the Mesh Manager such as Get Mesh Collectors, as you can see over there. When I click it, it will show how it should be used and that it will return all Mesh Collectors. So let's write this in our code instead. I then implement a loop which will go through all the Mesh Collectors such that I can edit their colors one by one. Within the loop, a mesh collector is referred to by the letter I. So I will change this in the code and I will change it to I. I don't want all my mesh collectors to turn orange, but I want to assign a random color. I use a Python built-in package called random, which picks a random number which can be used as a color ID. The number is chosen between 2 and 215 because I'd like to skip the colors white and black. Then I replace the hard-coded orange by the random color ID. Then I can start editing the code of coloring the meshes within the mesh collector. To do so, I need to get the meshes with a mesh collector first. Let's see if the reference guide can help us out. I'm back at the get mesh collectors method and I can click on the mesh collector object. Once there, I can see every, anything related to the mesh collector class. For example, a method called get meshes, which sounds good to me. If I click, I can read that this returns the mesh collector associated meshes. Perfect. So I write the mesh collector i dot get meshes. And again, create a loop to go through all the meshes within a collector one by one. The first line in the loop is of no use because I already have the mesh object. Within the loop, the meshes are referred to by the letter j. I want the color to be the same within the mesh collector, so I use the previously defined random color ID. 
and at last another time delay the J to update a mesh it's displaying on the screen. Let's save and go back to SimCenter. At the developer tab I just used the record button. I will now hit the play button to run the edited version. Let's browse to the file and open it. The directory appears at the top and now we can hit run to apply random mesh collector coloring. The 10 different mesh collectors all got a random color. The different meshes within a collector all got the same color, just as we programmed. I hope this will help you in setting up your own Annex Open script. Thank you for watching.